You know, as Hurricane Milton pummels Florida, we just told you about some generous Arizonans who are really stepping up to help out in the recovery. We know more than 3 million homes and businesses are without power. So this morning, one of those people who's stepping up is Cruz from APS, the line workers who are in Flagstaff and Benson right now, packing up their bucket trucks to caravan across the country. And right now, APS Construction Maintenance Supervisor Robert Houle is joining us live to talk more about this journey. Robert Robert, thank you so much for joining us over the phone this morning. We understand you are just about an hour or so away, probably less than getting on the road. It's so amazing that you're stepping up to help out. But how did your team prepare for this trip to Florida? Uh, good morning. Actually, you know, with, with linemen, they're preparing all year long, right? And when this ask came from mutual assistance, um, we asked, it's actually a volunteer base, so we actually reached out to all of these linemen and the support techs and mechanics and office techs to see what their engagement would want to be. So they, uh, they're prepared and ready to go to do their job. Rob, when do you guys expect to get there? We expect to arrive in uh, Florida Saturday. It's going to be a three-day journey. Okay, and when you get there, what is some of that work you're going to be doing? We will be actually just south of Jacksonville, so we're going to be working on the distribution side. Uh, you know, those individuals after Helene came through, uh, they've been, what, a week and a half, two weeks without uh, yeah, their energy. So we're going to be working on that system in the northern Florida side. Some of the numbers we're hearing, Robert, out of Florida this morning are staggering. They're saying more than 3 million people are without power. Just in your experience on the job, doing this amazing work for us, keeping our lights on, uh, uh, when you hear numbers like that, what do you think about that? And how big of an issue is this going to be once you get there? Well, you know, we, we take one pull at a time, right? I, I think the beauty of Florida and, and how they went through mutual assistance, at this point there's estimated 50,000 line workers that have volunteered to be down on this event. Wow. Um, and we literally take sections one at a time to safely uh, bring that energy back up. When you hear something like that, like Emily just talked about, more than 3 million people without power, you understand what you're kind of dealing with with the power grid and each pole. About how long would that take to restore power? If all of you are working at one time, are we talking days? Are we talking weeks? Are we talking maybe longer? It could be any one of those. You know where we're headed up to, those individuals have been out for some time. Uh, the impact from Milton they had the rainfall, but not necessarily the high winds. I'm thinking that's going to be the uh, faster restoration route for the northern Florida. Obviously, down in Sarasota and the other areas of impact, they'll probably be in a, in a more uh, time frame, right, extended time frame to get that energy back up. But I will tell you, each and every one of these individuals that are down there are, are going to be as proficient and diligent as they can be to get these people back up in power. Robert, when you think about uh, everyone wants to help and do what they can, is there anything we can do to support your mission or, or as you're hitting the road this morning? Actually, just thoughts and prayers for safe travels and safety while we're down there. You know, it, it is truly remarkable when you see the heart of a volunteer and their willingness to go several states away to, to get people back where they need to be in their lives and, and not even knowing them. It's just, uh, for me, very humbling to be a part of this picture and to see these guys uh, every day what they do for our communities throughout Arizona. Uh, and they're going to do the same for individuals in Florida. And I think we can all do that, right? Thoughts and prayers for that crew that's going to be heading to Florida. APS Construction Maintenance Supervisor Robert Houle, thank you so much. And please give the crews our very best from here in 12 News. Safe travels.